Hey everyone, welcome to Apigee Edge 4 minute videos for developers season 27 episode 5. In this episode, we're going to discuss how to decode JSON web token in Apigee Edge API management platform. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account where you can build APIs and secure APIs using JWT. You can register at apigee.com slash edge. You need a JSON web token to decode it before you verify it. You can refer to earlier format video, how to generate a JSON web token. Let's take a simple use case. Let's say you have a backend systems and you have a client which is making an API call with the JWT token. As you know, Apigee Edge can sit in between the client and the backend system where you can able to create APIs and verify the JWT token. Let's say you are accessing a account API. Before you verify the JWT token, you would like to decode and see what is inside the JSON web token. You have the JSON web token and you would like to decode and see the information in it so that you can able to take a decision like checking for a particular payload or checking for a particular subject inside the JWT token before you verify the JWT token itself. You can do that using decode JWT policy. In our previous video, we have seen how to verify a JWT token. In this video, we're going to see how to decode a JWT token. Again, remember, it's not hidden information. It's just encoded, not encrypted. You can decode anytime. As long as you have a JWT token, you can see what is inside it. That means do not transfer any secure information inside the JWT token because it is visible to anyone who can see the JWT token itself. In our last video, season 27, episode 4, we have built an account API to verify JWT token before you grant access to the backend system. Let's use the same API and see how you can able to see the information inside the JWT token before you verify it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same API to demonstrate the decode JWT policy before you verify the JWT token. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply disable our existing policies that is verification of a JWT token. So I'm going to change the enable to false, both the policies. Just click on the policy and change the enable to false. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a decode JWT policy before the JWT verification policy. So as you can see, there is a decode JWT. I'm going to add that and just drag and drop to the front and I have disabled the verify JWT policy. I'm just going to decode the JWT token and see what is inside it so that I can able to take some conditional action. I'm going to remove uh, the JWT variable as a source because by default, Apigee uh, takes the JWT token from the authorization bearer token. And I'm going to save it as a new revision and then deploy it. And I'm going to show you in action how it works using the trace console. Click on trace, start trace session. So first we're going to generate a JWT token. So I'm going to generate a JWT token using the API that we have built in season 27 episode 3. As you can see, I got JWT token. So let me use a JWT token to make an API call to slash account API where we are trying to see the decode operation in action. So I'm going to send the JWT token in authorization header bearer. And I'm going to copy the JWT token that we have generated. and send it in the bearer token. If I make an API call, as you can see, we got the successful response and uh, the verify is skipped. As you can see, when I click on decode JWT, you can see all the information inside the JWT token. For example, the payload, the climbs, and the algorithm used, and the issuer subject. For example, you can take this flow variable and you can check whether the issuer is uh, as you expected and you can raise an exception before even you verify the JWT token. Just you would like to decode the JWT token, this policy is helpful. Again, remember, it is not verifying the JWT token. To verify the authenticity of the JWT token, you still need to use verify JWT policy. Hope this video is helpful for you and you understood how the decode JWT token policy works. If you are interested to evaluate Apigee Edge, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in commit.apigee.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the love for APIs. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated if any future videos.